Hi, my little butterflies. Welcome back to Reverse. We know that the series disappeared for a little bit, but it is back. This chapter is written by me, Lazy, in January. The artwork was done by Lazy in January. Now, as for the voice actors, I'll be playing the narrator, Nino and Plag. Hi, I'm Lazy, and I'll be voicing Marinette slash Ladybug slash Lady Noir and Rose. Hi, I'm January, and I'll be voicing Adrian slash Chat Noir slash Mr. Bug, Miss Bustier, Alia, and Natalie. We want to thank you so much for 459 subscribers on YouTube and 760 followers on Spotify. We can't express how grateful we are for all of you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope this makes it a bit better. Now, part 16. The very next day at school, Marinette could not help but be concerned for Adrian, but was interrupted by Miss Bustier. Rose? Miss Bustier asked, waiting for a response. Present! Rose said in reply. Miss Bustier continued down the attendance sheet. Marinette. Present. Marinette replied on cue after she had waited for her name to be called. Where's Adrian? She thought subconsciously. Miss Bustier moved on and called for. Alia. Who was next on the list. Present. Alia said in response. She looked over at Marinette who looked worried. She nudged Marinette and whispered. Why are you so worried? Me? Worried? What do you mean? She responded in a sarcastic tone while she squeezed her pencil and broke it without realizing. You broke your pencil. She pointed out. Marinette looked down and saw the broken pencil in her hand. Oh. She responded guiltily. So, why are you so worried? Alia interrogated. Marinette felt embarrassed and mumbled. Adrian's not here. Alia clearly heard what she had said. Since when did you start caring about Adrian? Marinette didn't know how to reply to this. Um... She slowly started, hoping something or someone would interrupt their conversation. Thankfully, the door flew open and someone walked in. Adrian had walked in, which relieved her, and she let out a sigh. Miss Booster noticed Adrian walk in. Oh, Adrian, I was about to mark you absent. Now that everyone's here, let's start with the lesson. Alia nudged Marinette once again and whispered. Girl, really, when did you start caring about Adrian? I mean, you always call him just a friend. Marinette whispered back to Alia. I guess I sort of like him. Alia whispered loudly. You like Adrian? Shh! Marinette whispered back loudly, hoping Adrian wouldn't hear. Wait, does he know? Alia whispered back in curiosity. Marinette didn't know if she wanted to tell her the truth or not. Luckily, Miss Bustier finally gave up her patience. Marinette, Alia, we are in the middle of class. Save your chatting for after class, okay? Marinette felt bad and replied with, Okay, sorry, Miss Bustier. Miss Bustier continued, Okay, back to what I was saying. Charles Dickens views refuse. The class went by like it was nothing, and all the students were dismissed to go home for the day. Ollie and Marinette walked down the stairs together when Alia asked, Hey, Marinette, want to come over so we can work on the project? Marinette quickly responded, Oh, yeah, sh-. She stopped as soon as she saw Adrian and changed her answer. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have a photo shoot. Alia sighed. Oh, one of these days I'm going to make you miss your photo shoot so we can hang out. Yeah, that would be nice. Well, anyway, see you later. Marinette cheerfully said. Meanwhile, Adrian and Nina were by the front of the school by the sidewalk. Want to hang out? I want to ask me to the Mr. Blog, and you're the only one who can help. Nino asked. Why would you say that? Adrian laughed nervously. Because you're my only friend that I can trust with this. Nino stated. Adrian sighed in relief. Yeah, sh- He paused as he saw Marinette walking towards him. Actually, I promised my dad I would help him in the bakery today. Sorry. Nino sighed in a no ants. Oh, it's fine. I guess I'll just do it myself. Nino said goodbye and walked home. Soon after, Marinette ran over to Adrian. Why were you late to class? I was so worried. Marinette interrogated him. Don't worry, I just slept in. That's always why I'm late. He responded calmly. Marinette was relieved and hugged him. I thought something happened to you. 
Adrian hugged her back. Don't worry, I can protect myself. He winked at her. Hey, you're stealing my personality. Marinette said with a smirk while playfully hitting him. Adrian laughed. So, what are you doing now? He asked. Well, I have a photo shoot, but you can come if you want. Hunt for you after. She stated. Okay, maybe after we can look for that Akuma the video was talking about. He said. Yeah, sounds good. Let's go. She said as she started to walk to where the car was parked. Adrian accidentally and coincidentally tripped on nothing, bumping into Marinette and fell on top of her. I still don't get how you're Mr. Bug. Marinette laughed as Adrian got up and helped her up. They reached the car, and as soon as she reached the door, Natalie interrupted her. Marinette, you have a photo shoot at the park in two minutes. Thank you, Natalie. Is it okay if I bring a friend with me? Marinette asked. Of course. Natalie replied. Uh, I'm so sorry we're late by like a few hours. It's currently 4 p.m. and this was supposed to be out three hours ago. So January didn't finish editing this part until today. So here I am recording the final bits of today's part. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you guys next week.